Hey everybody, Carla Nicole. So, um, one of my one of my friends, he posted something that just caused me to have to come on here and kind of touch base about why is the sex lives of many fading over time? Because you know, um, when we get committed or in a marriage or live together over time. Um, the libido, the, the relationship, um, the spontaneity, the, uh, the fun of sex begins to fade. And I think it's important we talk about why is this happening? Um, you know, the funny part about it is I think a lot of times when, you know, you're intimate with someone and you care about them and you love them. Um, the spontaneity is fun. It's, it's important that you have that. But over time and over the course of the years, um, we begin to diminish the desire for each other. And so um, I wanted to just touch base on this. Hey, talent coach. Um, I wanted to touch base on this because I think it's important that we talk about um, how, you know, sex lives begin to fade. Um, first off, I want to just introduce myself, Carla Nicole, um, single mom of two, and um, you know, I'm just out here trying to get more people educated about having healthy sex lives. It's not about um, having all these different people or what type of relationship you're in or how you can do this and do that, but I think that you know, when you are in a long-term relationship, be it marriage or not, we need to understand that over time, you have to keep it spicy. You have to keep it spontaneous. You have to change things up. If you don't, what's going to happen is it's going to get like a chore. And um, I've heard many times that people say, especially married couples will say, well, you know, sex is unfortunately the wifely duty. That's not true. You want to enjoy sex together. You want to be involved with it that you are also receiving and giving. It's not just about, oh, I'm, he, I'm giving him everything and he's taking from me. It's about giving and receiving. So, ladies, if you are intimate with your husband, mate, boyfriend, boo, whatever, if you're involved with each other sexually, there is not just you giving them the sex but there's also you receiving as well and that is the beauty of it all because a lot of times I think men get the messed up end of the stick hey Perry men get the messed up end of the stick where in society it's like well men get all the perks men get everything from the woman gets nothing while she's um, sexual with him and that is not true if you're not women if you are not receiving any type of enjoyment sexually you need to be getting yourself educated first and foremost if you're a woman and you're not having orgasms you're not having enjoyable sex you're not having um desire to want to be sexual um you may want to do some research there is plenty of it out here research read about it find out what it is to do what you can do to try to enhance your libido a lot of ladies, I'm looking on Facebook and I'm seeing where women are like, ooh, I don't, a one is their desire of sex. Like, what? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? What do you mean a one out of ten is your desire to be intimate? Why is that? Something's wrong. So, my thing is, you have to be mindful that if you're not enjoying the act itself, it could be the lover you're with, it could be you because you're not really desiring it because of guilt, because of um, just putting too much in your head here and not allowing yourself to receive and give at the same time. So these are things that causes, you know, um, the sex to it be enjoyable. So I just want all of you to understand it's important. Like Daniel said, role play, have fun, get dressed, you know, do stuff out of the ordinary. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You want to keep it spicy, but over the course of the years, you're going to have to come up with a plan as to, ooh, what can I do? Do you tell your man he's sexy? Do you, I mean, really? Like, man, you are fine. You know, do you do that? Do you increase his 
his intrigue by you do you just let other women do all the all the work and then you just say oh well you know do you just treat him like dusty furniture because that's not cool either and then gentlemen you know make sure you spicing your girl up too like hey what's up girl you know i see you you got that cute little sexy jeans on or whatever we're not flirting enough we're not intriguing enough we're not talking enough during the course of the day i i hear you i hear from you what every now and then but y'all be you know you're on facebook all day but your girl you ain't text you haven't talked to you haven't inboxed you haven't emailed you haven't called you haven't checked on and then you expect that she's going to be all warm and fuzzy inside at, at the end of the night no you got to spice it up you got to make it fun you got to make it intriguing you got to make it like ooh, i can't wait to see my man tonight because he's got me so wanting him but a lot of times the the this all this all this desire for intimacy is fading because no one is building the rapport to keep it up. And then there's a lot of women I'm understanding is not really into sex all like that. They're, you know, they more or less are into oral sex more than they are the actual penetration of sex. And I'm like, something's wrong. Hey, look, I'm just keeping it 100. You gotta do your homework. You gotta figure out what is it in, in the act of sex that I can also have beautiful enjoyable orgasmic experience if you're not getting that something's wrong not per se physically it may be up here it may be your guilt or i have to be married or i don't have a relationship and i can't do this and i can't do that we have a lot going on up here so if you have a lot going on up here then you find yourself restraining from your enjoyment of intimacy and you will be amazed at how many men that go down the aisle with their wife and, and all this and they go down the aisle right in their mind they're thinking oh my woman's gonna be uh you know my porn star <laughs> and that is not the case after five six seven years down the line he's like it's not happening like it was i mean you know we get it in every now and then maybe once a week or something once a week are you married or not I thought married people are supposed to be getting it in at least at least once a day at least if you're not why not <laughs> that's that's crazy you are married I'm hearing so many sexless marriages is out here why is that I'm confused please advise because if you are married there should be way way more opportunity especially when you're in you know in in combine and you guys love each other y'all went down the aisle together and said you love each other and you did all this and then you telling me your life your sex life is empty you don't have any sexual activity going on that doesn't make sense to me how are y'all married and there's nothing going on in the bedroom obviously something's up so all i'm here to tell you is if you are in a relationship or in a situation or in a marriage or whatever what have you you have to be creative when it comes to sex you cannot allow the relationship to fade. And my thing is this, a lot of people don't realize it, but sex is always the first to go. Always. If there's issues, argument, I'm mad at him about this, she ain't do this right, I was thinking this, I was thinking that, sex is the first to go. Why is that? Why is sex the first to go? Sex should be the glue that keeps y'all tight. Even when you guys are arguing or disagreeing or not having things going the way it should be, sex should be the glue. Sex, that's the best time to have sex because why? It, it's good for anxiety, it's good for stress level, it helps you psychologically, it helps you physically. It, listen, there's a lot of things we need to think about when we take away the sex in a good, wholesome, dis decent relationship. Even if you're angry, that's the best time to try to reconnect physically because even if you're angry here, your body is responding to being connected together in a, in a whole nother intimate way that you're not intimate with, with anyone else. So, end of the day, man, I'm just trying to give you guys some FYI. It's important. We cannot continue down this trend of not being intimate with our spouses, our loved ones, our, our men, our situationships. We're not being intimate. And something's wrong there. Why am I seeing more and more and more sexless relationships? Why are, why are married men talking about, huh, yeah, I'm married. You should be, you should be like, I am married. I am getting in. I am having fun with my wife. We have so much sex. It's just ridiculous. 
you know, I chase her around the house. I'm not hearing that. I only heard it like out of maybe, I would say maybe out of maybe five really good marriages, two of them are still getting it in like teenagers, like newlyweds, like they should be. And I'm like, well, so, you know, between me and you, how often y'all getting it in? Oh, about 25, 28 times a month. That's what I'm talking about. But you talk to other people, it's like, oh, you know, I give it to him when he's good. Good? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, you're putting him on punishment based off of sex? That's unacceptable. We have to do better with trying to enhance the beauty of what sex is. Sex is fading because we are losing our libido. We are trying to um, control with sex. We are trying to withhold from sex. We have, uh, some of us ladies have this going on way too much to where we can't just lose ourselves during sex we're more or less restraining and guarded so now the body is guarded why because we have so many um opinions i gotta be married i gotta be married i gotta be married really so you're not enjoying it because you gotta be married that's doing too much and so your body is responding to what restraining and in the restraints, you're not being fulfilled sexually. So now women are like, I don't even want to have sex. So now, check this out. So when you don't have it at all, the longer you go without it, the longer it's no longer desirable. So what I'm trying to get people to understand is the libido can increase again if you would just re reintroduce yourself to your mate. Reintroduce yourself to your loved one. Spice it up. Get cute. Get sexy. You know what I'm saying? Make a little love sometimes. I'm not talking about on your schedule either. Stop putting schedules and, oh, we have to do it here because I'm too busy here. No. Stop doing that too. Stop scheduling out sex. Just enjoy it. And stop taking so much time and trying to map out when and, and if and, well, if we're in good standing, then I'll do it. No. Just let it flow because I'm seeing a lot of dudes in relationships sexually miserable and then I'm seeing women that are you know they're cool with it but they're like well I mean on a scale of one to ten you know my satisfaction with intimacy is like maybe a four or five so like I said ladies educate yourself educate yourself about your body get to reading take some time out and read about what you can be doing because there's if you guys don't know there's four ways for women to have orgasms do your research don't listen to me i'm just giving you the the facts four ways that a woman can have orgasm if you're not even having one then something is off and it's most likely not between the legs but in between the ears right here so think about that do your research spend time in the sex books and i'm not talking about cosmopolitan i'm talking about sex ed education educate your mind because this is something that's important and not to mention there's a lot of health benefits to sex and if you really want to know the truth about it God created it and I said this before God made sex be mad but that's what it is <laughs> I got more gentlemen on here than women what is up with that where are my ladies at none at all none of the ladies are even thinking along the lines of that it's important to get this information. You know, sex is fading for a reason, but this is why, gentlemen, I am on a mission to get more women educated about the sexual thing because there's more people uneducated and there's more people that don't really know the benefits of it. And so a lot of times we're just holding on and harboring on to something because of our mindset, how we were brought up, what we were taught, we were taught as young women, you're taught to be prude and virgins. So can you imagine the, 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 or you're fast if you're having sex. Can you imagine psychologically where those women have went through when they do become intimate with someone? It's a lot of stuff and I'm trying to get the women to see that the prude and the um, guilt and the guarded mindset and thinking is coming from the fact of society always trying to stop women from becoming their flower sexually 
They don't want women to be free in their sexuality. So a lot of times women are guarded. They don't really want to, um, you know, be a part of the intimacy. They feel like, well, if I give it to him, I'm giving him a gift. No, y'all are both getting something. Not just him. You both are. If you are really educating your mind on what it is. But a lot of times, you know, that's not really understood. So I'm giving the real sex, sex education that we didn't get in health class. And I think it's important that we spend more time understanding that, A, <laughs> you know, you are missing out if you're not really having a fulfilled and um, enhanced sex life with your partner. So I'm going to go down and see what's up. I got all men on here. That is just unbelievable. Hi, guys. I appreciate y'all so much for being here. But, you know, where are my ladies at? There is just no understanding of that. I guess, see, and then this also gives me some information right here that you guys are on here. It tells me that you men have this curiosity about why is it fading. And basically, I, I'm just here to tell you that the libido is down for women. They really don't enjoy the penetration that's what i'm finding out more than i than i ever knew and then most women are not having orgasm during sex they they have it during oral sex but they don't get it for, through penetration so my goal is to get more women to educate the mind and have a partner that can help her to reach that goal of you know enjoyment it doesn't always have to be about climax either you can just enjoy while you are intimate with each other rather than trying to only withhold yourself because you don't want to um, experience and some of it is blockages man it's mental blockages with women that we don't want to feel free in our sex because it's scary to us and some have had sexual trauma some have had a lot of things going on with them but we don't talk about that we don't talk about yanni healing and how we can get the you know the uh pleasure back so i'm not going to be on here much longer but i just wanted to give you guys a heads up but the reason this is fading a lot of times is just from the main fact that nobody is really talking about why it's fading it's fading because libido is low if the libido is low that is because you have been you have went too long without having sex that actually your mind forgets it's even an option so that's one thing two it could be that um you're angry hurt disgusted and so you withdraw from from the sexual activity which is not good either so again you know i just want to give you guys a heads up so i want to talk about um what some of my guys said um tim said each aren't adding spice to the relationship in marriage that's true Tim, you are on point. Again, I talk about that. You've got to have some fun. You've got to make it intriguing. And you definitely have to make it spicy. And not to mention, you definitely want to make it to where it's not routine. It's more spontaneous. you got to do that. Um, Talent Coach said, good for those who are in a love relationship. I'm tired of searching after so many heartbreaks. You know what? I get it. You know, um, when you hurt, yes. But sometimes we put a lot of expectations, and I talked about this before, we put a lot of expectations on sex. If you're having sex with someone, you feel like that person is going to be with you married or you're going to have a long-term relationship. But that doesn't necessarily mean that. You may just have a moment in time where you two are connecting sexually, and when you are doing that, there is a bond being created. And in that bond of being created, okay, you are just enjoying each other. It doesn't have to mean that you're going to marry this person or be with this person or anything. It could just be the time that you two are sharing with each other. That is just a beautiful thing. So don't always connect or marry love and sex because that doesn't always go hand to hand. Sometimes we're just intimate and we love each other and that's it. It just is what it is. We're having an intimate um, arrangement and that is really cool. You want to make sure that you enjoy each other and stop putting all these expectations on it and guess what if you take off the expectations of desiring to have a relationship guess what you never know it may blossom into that anyway and you spent all this time eagerly trying to control it to be what it is it, it creates anyway you don't have to control that it could just become that on its own so just you know don't be too caught up in your heartbreaks baby boy because at the end of the day you know um enjoy your sex life because sometimes she may be your wife, she may not be. She may be your girlfriend, she may not be. But if you're having intimacy and you are 
two responsible adults and you enjoy each other and you have that time together, just enjoy it. Don't put no expectations on it because guess what? It could blossom into something that you would never believe. And then Daniel, he said the search for hidden pleasures is an exotic sexual reality that should grow as we grow older. The end result is consistent sexual pleasure. Yes, very, very, very true. And you know, I, I talk about seniors all the time and people know that, but I address the senior thing. A lot of times seniors um, don't really um, lose sight of what intimacy is about. And so um, when you have intimate relations as you age um, and, and the seniors keep it, keep it real uh, cool, calm, collect, Sometimes they've been in marriages or their spouse passed on or they're no longer together with their spouse and, and they now still have a healthy relationship, sexual relationship with someone else. You find them to not have expectations on it. So when they take the expectations off of the relationship, guess what? It is a friendship there. And in that friendship, there's a wholesomeness. And so when you talk to elders, you ask them, well, what is the most important thing to... A relationship and they'll tell you off the bat friendship period period point blank it's friendship if you guys are friends and 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 can care about each other and really relate to each other spend time in, together you'll find that it's more of a desirable relationship because it's now not about um am i marrying you am i not are we in a relationship are we not are we going to be together or are we not you don't have that on you you're just like, hey, we enjoy each other. And let's just keep it at that. And where it goes, it goes. And then all of those expectations and stuff is gone. And it's like, man, look, <laughs> I got something beautiful here. And I want to hold on to it and appreciate it. Now, Divine, don't worry. I am going to post it so you can check it out at the beginning. Um, I appreciate you so much for being here. You know, um, it's just support it's important that, you know, I educate people. Um, and like I said, um, I have had all men on this on this live here <laughs> and so I am just like really where are my ladies at why are they not here because it you men are sleeping with women and where are the women that need to hear this because they're not really understanding that it's not always what's going on in the bedroom it's not that your lover isn't the you know isn't doing his job it just may be you have some things going on in here reserving you from experiencing the, the utmost beautiful um intimate time together with someone and so you know it's just imperative that we we can just allow people to see it for what it is you know what i'm saying and and look at it for um, the beauty of sex because sex is very very important um, but like I said earlier it's always the first to go in relationships um, and I'm concerned about that oh I got a woman <laughs> no I don't think that's a woman that's a man see again we don't have any men on here I mean no women on here but um it, it concerns me that most women are not um they're they're treating sex like a duty and that really shouldn't be the case. It should be more about, you know, sharing. You're sharing your time and space with someone and you should definitely be um, enjoying it. I mean, to the utmost. And if you're not, like I said, it, it comes a time when we must educate. If we're not educated, if we don't really know about our bodies, um, we, we fall short as far as how important it is. So again, ladies, if you do finally jump on here, I just want to give you another heads up. It is four ways for you to orgasm. If you're not having orgasm during sex, okay, I want you guys to do your research. Go out there and find the four ways to which you can have an orgasm during sex. I'm not talking about during oral sex. I'm talking about penetration because I'm seeing more and more and more and more women saying, I'm not getting any orgasms for sex it's just all about him no you have you also are a part of the sexual activity so why are you not trying to seek and find what it is that you can enjoy that's going to enhance your desire first and foremost to want to be in that arrangement with someone because we're not going to want to desire something that we're not really feeling moved to do so imagine 
just for example when we are told we have to eat healthy foods you know like uh, they want you to eat tofu or they want you to eat stuff that's like tastes like straw nobody wants to eat that stuff so what is it what happens it stays in the cabinet we don't even touch it why because you don't have a desire but man get you some cupcakes or ice cream or candy or something like that or pop you are on it why because you enjoy the taste of it that's the same that applies the same here with sex if you're not enjoying it the libido plunges it goes down because there's no reason to want something that I'm not enjoying it's all about him and he gets everything I don't get nothing well ladies that's just not true so I just appreciate all you guys being here like I said guys I'm just trying to educate the ladies so they can enjoy the intimacy with you guys so that it doesn't have to be this it doesn't have to be like pulling teeth to have intimacy it doesn't have to fade as time fades it should still be enhanced you should still want each other like you did the first time you were together and if you don't something's wrong so I appreciate you guys please share this share 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 because somebody on your page right now is not having sex or has issues with sex or doesn't want to listen to you guys about why you guys feel like oh man is she gonna turn me down I understand some of y'all gentlemen don't like, like initiating because you just don't want to hear no that's concerning to me that's concerning to me so please share this I want you to share 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 because at the end of the day someone on your page needs to hear this all right so this is Carla Nicole if you are not a friend of mine please send me a inbox or send me a friend request I will definitely um, become your friend and, and you'll see a lot of other stuff I talk about sex a lot um, I think it's important we got to get more educated it's it's important that we get off of this um, inhibitions or um, hesitation with it because it's a beautiful thing we're, that's what we're born we're born to do so everybody thanks so much for being here it's carla nicole signing off best kept have a good day Bye.